Welcome to the nice sweet spot where the reviews are on target and tell it like it is, whether it hits the spot or misses the target. Speaking of targets, make sure you click that target mark subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Well, you know something that I love doing? I love going to the beach and walking the boardwalk and everything, but for me, I'm on my fitness journey and walking the boardwalk, of course, that's great exercise and all, but the problem is making sure I stay on that right path when it comes to making healthy food choices. So uh, I'm not a nutritionist or anything. I'm just someone who's trying to make the right choices. And I figure, you know, why not share some of what I'm doing with you because Maybe I'll help you out and that would be awesome. Or maybe you can help me out too with some ideas, right? So one of the things I do when I'm going to the beach, we're gonna be going for a few days, is I make sure to not come empty handed, right? And when I say come empty handed, I'm not talking about like my beach towel and stuff like that. I'm talking about in terms of food. A lot of times, you know, uh, people may say, oh, I'll just get something when I get there. But if you get something when you get there, are you going to make the best choices, right? Uh, so not only that, you might just be hungry and it's good to be able to have some options and have something that's readily available. So uh, some of the things that I have with me, uh, you can see, right? and I'll talk about some of those in a moment, but I always like to make sure I don't show up empty handed. And so Part two to that is make sure I bring more than enough, right? But I would say not too much. Like, actually, I'm going to be bringing more than this because we'll be staying for a few days. Uh, but more than enough where you say, okay, if we were here another day, I got enough food for that, right? Uh, but you don't want to overdo it, at least for me, because sometimes when I overdo it and then I just wound up eating more than I really should because I'm like, oh, I got three of those so I can have another one, right? Uh, so if you're trying to ration out your food or something like that, then it may be a good idea to, like I said, you got a little extra, but not too much so that you're not, you know, overindulging in eating, even if it is healthy stuff, you can still eat too much, right? Okay, um, so something else I would say, of course, is to make sure you pack cold water. I mean, that sounds like, you know, you say, ah, oh, common sense, you're going to the beach, carry cold water. Yeah, well, it can be really expensive to buy it sometimes on a boardwalk. And something else that I do in addition to carrying cold water is I make sure to pack a bunch of frozen waters as well. And the reason I use frozen waters as opposed to just using like one of those frozen blocks or something like that to keep my food cold is because as the day progresses, if we're gonna be there all day long, just lounging out on the beach, eventually the frozen water will begin to defrost and then you can drink that. Whereas, you know, if those ice blocks defrost, you get nothing from them, right? Uh, so that's one of the reasons that I like. And I put, you know, a few in there and it's not gonna just be me. It'll be me along with my family at the beach. So then that way, you know, sometimes people guzzle water like crazy. You, you know, you don't realize how thirsty you are. You drink it in one, like boop, boop, boop. Uh, and even though I use, uh, you know, like a reusable container and all I like to bring water with me so that I can replenish that because sometimes like I said uh, you may have to buy water or even if you stay in a hotel you may still have to buy water and so this way you can you know save some money on that right I'm all about saving money uh, okay so something else that I would say is pack your perishable items with the ice cold water and the frozen water. So, you know, like I have some strawberries and pineapples and blueberries, stuff like that. And so I always try to put those in there because they can spoil over time or they might get mushy tasting. And I mean, you, I mean, it sucks. Like if you get your mouth all water, like, oh, let me have some of that pineapple or let me have some of that strawberry or whatever. And then it just does. I mean, that's meant to me. It's meant to be cold. So, I mean, some people might not like, right. But it's meant to be cold. So 
that way you can contain it in there right and you can see i also prepared them ahead of time as well so then i know how much i'm consuming right um so something else speaking about uh making sure your stuff doesn't perish protein bars aren't necessarily perishable but they are melty <laughs> uh they can be some of them can be like i have some here i'll probably do reviews on them later at some point uh and with these oh sorry <laughs> with uh i try to do you know like a variety also um so with some of these that i have here you may not realize how hot it is and you might say well, i'll just put a couple in my bag or some people even like i'll just put it in my pocket or something uh, and then you are unpleasantly surprised to see that it is melted and warped and then it's like oh geez this thing isn't even edible anymore and that sucks all right um so speaking of protein bars one of the reasons that i bring them with me is because oftentimes or at least it's been my experience you're walking the boardwalk you're you know at the beach there aren't many options with uh, healthy choices and so you can get all the carbs you want like i mentioned fruit but i'm not talking about fruit like a lot of times you can't even find healthy fruit and vegetables and stuff like that uh, even their veggie pizza oftentimes it's not like the traditional oh you're gonna have some broccoli and some red peppers and spinach is usually oh it, it comes with mushrooms and onions and you're like well where's the other stuff but you got a lot of carb heavy things, you got a lot of sweet treats, but then the problem is that you don't have any other choices. And even if you do have those other choices in terms of protein, like, you know, you might be able to get a steak or something like that, it's really hearty and put on heavy bread. And if you're someone who's trying to cut back on that bread, you're going to wind up, you know, being like, geez, you know, I got this huge thing of bread. Uh, and not only that, sometimes you don't know, uh, a lot of places they actually don't have turkey products i try to i don't really eat beef products so I'll, i'm always looking for turkey and looking for a chicken product so one of the things i also will be bringing i did a review on this is i'll be bringing my turkey pepperoni <laughs> so then i have some of those as well um i would say something else with uh healthy alternatives it doesn't have to be all protein bars because that might not be your thing right but just even having some alternatives i mentioned that i'm going to be going with my family and you know, I'm not going to make everyone say, hey, you got to eat extremely healthy just like me. So my daughter, she may want certain cookies and certain chips and stuff like that. And that doesn't mean I don't want them. <laughs> but I'm trying to make some good choices. And so I'll have some alternatives. So I may, you know, pack, a, you know, like a little cookie. This one actually is a protein one. But these here, and I may do a review on these later, uh, made good near chocolate chip cookies. Um, or even like little stuff in me. Like I just like, you know, like a little cheese stick or something. That's enough to satisfy me. And of course, I did a review on this too. My nacho chips. <laughs> So even just stuff like that, having that available. So she's eating her Doritos. I got my nacho chips and I'm good, right? Uh, and one of the reasons that I try to do that when I'm going to the beach or somewhere where I know there's not going to be a lot of healthy choices is, you know what? Uh, so I can plan accordingly, you know? You might plan out your activities for the day, plan out your meals, right? So in planning out my meals and everything, and I know how many calories how many and it's not even always about calories but just even nutritional value and stuff like that is in what i'm consuming here something i'm getting from the boardwalk i may have absolutely no idea a lot of times they don't have nutritional facts on that stuff and if you ask them they probably look at you sideways like do you want it or not <laughs> right and not only that but who are we kidding you're there to have a nice time and in having a nice time it's not always about harping over well how many calories are in this? What's the protein? Or, you know, how many, uh, you know, net carbs are in this here? You know, so that's not what it's always about. So I try to do the balancing act. And in doing the balancing act, that's one of the reasons to go back to my number one reason that I bring stuff with me. And so then I feel like it offsets when I'm going to have something else where I don't really know fully <laughs> what the nutritional value is in that item right um so something else i would say with like planning out your day 
is that if you plan out your day, like at least for me, like I know there's a few things I'm going to want. Like I know I love pizza. It's one of my vices. So I know I'm going to want a slice of pizza or two. Uh, so in wanting pizza, then and I'm planning out my day, then I'm like, okay, well, let me make sure I get my fruit. Let me make sure I get this or that. And sometimes what I'll even do is I'll use that as a reward, the pizza or I want some funnel cake, right? <laughs> uh, and I'll use that as my reward. Uh, kind of reminds me of like when I was younger and I didn't get dessert until I finished my food. Uh, so that doesn't mean I'm going to totally deny myself like something that my trainer keeps putting in my head, which I'm trying my best to focus on and to live by is treat myself. So uh, that is something that I also plan to do. So in planning to treat myself and have that funnel cake and have a slice of pizza or two or, you know, maybe a donut or something like that, then I want to plan out my meals, you know, so then I know I have time, I have space to have whatever it is that I want to have rather than saying, I'm just going to have tunnel vision and only eat what I came with. Because that to me is not realistic for myself. I can't speak to other people, right? But that's not realistic for me. Uh, but I would say, and part of that planning, at least for me, is doing research. I am a type A personality. So in doing research, I actually just started looking up places on the boardwalk where we're going to be. And... Uh, some of them do have menus so then I can get an idea of what do they have that's how I know about like their veggie pizza <laughs> it's not really veggie pizza at least in my definition uh, but I see oh this place has you know something with broccoli okay I can have my slice of pizza maybe I'll get it with broccoli on there or red peppers or whatever right um, or you know oh this place has some good protein options right maybe I'll I'll see if they have you know like a chicken sausage or something like that uh, so then I know where I'm going to go because sometimes just roaming around aimlessly, you know, these boardwalk stretches are really long. And if you're really hungry, you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm just like, and, and I mean, I'm, especially if my daughter's hungry too, my husband's hungry, and you're like, let's just stop here, right? I already know where I might want to go. And I'm like, oh, you know, I was looking up this one place. They have this, and that's something that would be good for me because I know later on I'm going to want some cotton candy or later on I'm going to want an ice cream or whatever, all right? So then I've done my research. I know what places I want to hit. Whereas if you don't think about that and you're just like, eh, I'll figure it out when I get there. And that's cool. Some people, that's what they like to do. But if you're trying to be mindful of what you're eating, then I would strongly urge you to do that beforehand. So then the hunger doesn't set in and you don't find yourself just stopping somewhere and saying, I don't even care. Just give me whatever. Right. OK, so also. I want to just go back to what my trainer said, which is going to be my main focus. Uh, even though I got all this foods and things here is I'm going to try my best. <laughs> I know he would tell me, don't try, just do it. <laughs> and he would try and make my daughter, you know, convince me to treat myself. And by treating myself when I'm at the beach and on the boardwalk, just not overdoing it. All right. And that's one of the reasons that I want to plan and Think about, well, what am I going to be having for breakfast? What am I going to be having for lunch uh, or dinner? And so if I know I want to eat certain items that I'm planning, so then I'm able to treat myself and I don't have any guilt or anything like that, you know, coming in. Uh, but I hope that my video was helpful for you. And, you know, I might do a couple more uh, while we're out there if I come across something that I really like and I'm treating myself and I want to share that with you too about it hitting this spot. Uh, but uh, yes, if you haven't already done so, I hope that you'll click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you next time at the nice sweet spot, maybe on location at the beach or the boardwalk. Take care.